Let's solve this question on joint variation. The question reads, a variable P varies jointly with the square of R and inversely with the square root of the difference between Q and S. If R is increased by 13% and both Q and S are decreased by 20%, supposed to find the percentage change in the value of p correct to two decimal places so that is a question let's go to the solution now we're going to begin by writing this uh, relationship uh, we have uh, variable p varies jointly with the square of r so this is how we write that a variable p varies jointly at the square of r as the square of r that is how you write it and inversely for the inverse you have to put that division sign and inversely to come the denominator inversely with the square root of the square root of the difference between q and s the difference between q and s means q minus s so that is how you write it then from Simple. there you remove Simple. these uh, sign of proportionality p is equals to and when you do that you have to introduce a constant i will let my constant to be given by k this is uh, r squared divided by the square root of q minus s now after doing that we can go now to this other statement if r is increased by 13 percent so if r is increased by 13 percent so meaning now the new r will be 100 plus 13 originally it was 100 increase it by 13 percent you get 113 so it will be 113 percent that is 100 over 13 113 over 100 r and then you have to square that that will be the new value of r. this will give uh, 1.13 uh, r and then you have to square that then for q and s they are decreased by 20 percent so decreasing by 20 percent means it was 100 percent decreased by 20 so it will be 100 minus 20 that would be 80 so it will be 80 percent of 100 then uh, this is a q minus s both of them and then the square root sign should be there this will represent all the new value of q and s after being decreased by 20 percent this one can simplify to 0 0.8 uh, q minus s then you put the square root sign now after getting those um, increase in r and decrease in q and s we now go to the new p now we shall get new p new p will be given by p prime and this one we shall now incorporate the new values of r and q and s so the constant will not change then r squared will be 1.13 r then you square that then everything divided by uh, 0 0.8 then q minus s then you have to put everything under the square root sign uh, therefore this will give 1.13 squared 1.13 squared using a calculator 1.13 squared will give 1.2769 then when you square r of course you get r squared okay and then i can decide to put uh, let me put the constant in between here we put the constant there and then um you divide by for this one you can decide to get the square root of 0 0.8 the square root of 0 0.8 square root of 0 0.8 will be 0 0.8944 or write the whole figure for four then uh, two seven one nine one two seven one nine one that is the square root of 0 0.8 then for the square root of q and s you just put that on under under the square root sign can't get the square root of that then after doing that uh, you're going to use your calculator take this value and then you divide it by this so that you can have one value at the top 
take 1.2769 then divide it by 0 0.89442791 so let us do that so when you divide that 1.2769 divided by 0 0.89442719 this one will give 1.4276 then you have k r squared then everything divided by the square root of q minus s so this will now be the new value of p remember the original value of p is here the original value of p is there now after getting that we need to get the percentage change in the value of p so how do you get percentage uh, change it is given by change over the original multiply by 100 in this case change will be given by the new value of p minus the original value of p divided by the original value of p everything multiply by 100 so the new value of p is here is uh the new value of p is here so it is here one point four two seven six so one point four two two seven six k r squared divided by q minus s square root of that then the original value of p is here it is here you can see it here so this is a k r squared divided by the square root of q minus s that now is the change then divided by the original the original is a k r squared divided by square root of q minus s then everything here everything here you have to multiply it by 100 so you'll notice something here to simplify the whole thing here you can see there's something that is common this part is common let me read like this this part is common here it's common in both this part is common so you can simply I just did the coefficient 1.4276 uh, then just take the coefficient then subtract the original will be 1 the original will be 1 here the coefficient of that formula then divided by just take the original as 1 and then you multiply by 100 so instead of adding kr squared divided by the square root of q and minus s you can just ignore that and pick the coefficient the coefficient of that formula is 1.4276 the coefficient of the other side is just one the original just take that one is one and this one will give um 0 0.4276 uh, multiply by 100 and um this one will give uh when you work it out you get 42.76 percent that is the change and that is an increase that is an Simple. increase so that Simple. is uh, basically Simple. how you're supposed to solve that question thank you